You want to stream to TikTok Live, but you have a Mac. But today that's all about to change because I'm going to show you how to do it without the need of TikTok Studio Live and just using the free version of Streamlabs desktop. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is open up a browser, go to streamlabs.com, and we're going to download the Streamlabs desktop for Mac. And then when here you click here, it's going to prompt you if you have an Intel based Mac, go ahead and do the Intel one. If you have one of the new M1, M2, M3 um, Macs, go ahead and click on the uh, Mac with a silicon chip and download that. But then once you have that and in, go through the installing process, you'll be met with uh, Streamlabs desktop and you're gonna click down here to log in. This is a very important step right here. You need to log in with your TikTok account. If you do not log in with your TikTok account, it will not work. Click on login with TikTok. Go ahead and put the password and all that good stuff in. And then from here, you're going to click on the little notification bell if it hadn't already prompted you um, with the uh, notification in news when you logged in for the first time. And from here, you're going to click on learn more. When you do that, you're going to be prompted with this website, Dreamon TikTok from PC. Don't worry about that. We're going to do is use Mac. So then we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to click on this first link here where it says check out our guide on streaming directly to TikTok. You click there, it's going to bring you to this page. At this point, you're going to scroll down just a little bit and we're going to see where it says click here for the application in parentheses. We're going to click there. That's going to bring you to this page. And then from this point, you're going to want to click on log in to apply. If you've logged already logged in on through the browser, you will um, then be prompted with the application. Some here are some quick notes that we need to take a note of. Um, you have 180 day access requirements. So access will be renewed for 180 days after the first 14 days. As long as you don't get your access revoked within the first 14 days, you should be good. And then you have, you have to have gone live for at least 25 minutes, two times within the first 14 days to get your access extended past the 14 days to 180 days um, and then at that point you'll be automatically renewed um, for 180 days and then you have to go live for more than 25 minutes at least three times in the past 30 days to keep that 180 day rolling status and obviously if you go against community guidelines you'll the access will be revoked as well so then you click on to apply going to go you're going to get to this application here so at this point you're going to select what you normally stream on stream on twitch youtube kick meta instagram other you're going to put that link in here and then from there you're going to go ahead and choose one of these options for your concurrent viewer count all that information can be found in your like for youtube it's youtube studio under the analytics then at that, from there, you're going to provide a screenshot or just for making sure that you are actually who you say you are and you actually have access to that account um, to, uh, to stream. And that basically the numbers in the accounts that you're providing are actually you. Basically for me, what I did was I took a screenshot of this. I didn't even give them the whole thing. I just basically clipped it a little bit. Just to see, so they could see, you know, this is my channel, had the logo in it, it matches the same as my uh, TikTok account. But one of the things I want to make note of on TikTok, I only have nine followers. For TikTok Studio Live, you have to have a thousand followers to be able to go live. Um, that is not the case with this. You do not have to have um, a thousand followers. You, you can, I only have nine. And I was approved. So then once you go through, you run through the uh, process, you can um, submit the application. It took about five minutes for me. And then after that, from that point, then you'll come up with these, this access approved. So then from there, go back to Streamlabs desktop. I would do a login, log out just to refresh the application. Now from here, you can go ahead and set up your sources. 
you have any kind of uh you know capture card camera video capture device will add a source leave it that name that i'll go down here i'm using the streamer x 4k so let's pump that back out there and we can see that now we have our uh, source but one of the cool things about this now um, normally with Streamlabs desktop, you can only stream to one destination. Um, however, they're not counting TikTok as that one. So you're actually going to get two for free and be able to multi-stream to either Twitch or YouTube or any of the other ones that you can go through and TikTok. So you get two actually um, without having to pay for the Ultra account. This is just basically, I don't even have Ultra. This is just a free account. So then what you need to do, you can also do here is go to settings and we're going to go to the, uh, I believe it's video and we're going to enable the dual output here. And then from there, we've got a second canvas. So we can shrink this source down. It's huge. And we wanted to set up any kind of like layers or anything with um, graphics. I'll set that up through here with, within the sources as well. So let's just pop that out like that. There we go. All right. So from here, we can actually click on go live. And what it's going to do is ask you if you want to do horizontal or vertical. Um, and that's it. And you can just confirm and go live from here. So um, we can actually add, and here's where you add um, Twitch, Twitter, or YouTube is your other destination that's included and not needing the ultra. So you can do YouTube. So in here, what's cool is it'll allow you to choose which output to go to so if you want to stream youtube vertical click on vertical so now you're going TikTok vertical and youtube vertical and then you just confirm and go live you want to do youtube horizontal do horizontal to, to youtube and vertical to TikTok. do that if you want to go horizontal horizontal you can do that as well um you don't want to do youtube you want to do twitch you just go back add destination twitch same thing, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. You just give it the title, you can choose your category, all that, and confirm and go live. Under the advanced settings, you can get a little more in detail. I think if you go back with the YouTube, I believe you can do a thumbnail as well under the YouTube settings. Let's see here. Um, yeah, so yeah, you can do a YouTube, you can do a thumbnail um, as well. So one of the things we can go ahead and do is uh, we're going to test Streamlabs live. Um, you just fill out the information, put the title. If you want to use a different title on TikTok, you can do that here. Um, don't need to create a new event. I'm going to set it a private on YouTube. From here, we can just confirm and go live. All right, from here we're going to go vertical live on TikTok and horizontal on YouTube. Make sure all our settings are good. So we just can click on confirm and go live. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, so look, we're testing out the live here on uh, Streamlabs. Let's see. Are we live with YouTube? We are live with YouTube. All right, so let's go to the link here. And we can see um, that we're live on uh, YouTube here, horizontal. And let's go ahead and uh, refresh and see if we are live on TikTok. We are live on TikTok as well. All right, so here we go. 
so we can see here that we are live on TikTok as well. And we're now uh, streaming on TikTok and on YouTube at the same time using Streamlabs. And then once we're done, we'll go ahead and click on in stream. So there you have it. We were able to go live on TikTok from our Mac without the need of having TikTok Live Studio. Some key takeaways from this process are the ability to use a Mac and not only stream, but multi-stream for free on Streamlabs desktop without the need for the ultra subscription. Also, not needing the thousand subscribers on TikTok to be able to go live on TikTok. And if you're not sure what the best webcam is for streaming, check out this video where I tested a variety of options, including all three Elgato face cams.